This uh, conference like, will now be recorded. Yeah. So you guys have any idea about what is identity and access management? So if anyone knows, uh, you can uh, like unmute and uh, tell me just what you know about identity and access management, like a word, uh, like a, some kind of a, maybe like one or two lines about identity and access management. Okay, yeah, so that's fine. Okay, so first of all, identity and access management is part of a IT enterprise actually. Okay, so if you take an IT infrastructure, right? So if you take an IT infrastructure, means there will be a lot of, uh, I mean, uh, uh, if you take an IT infrastructure as a whole, like a ABC technologies, if you take it uh, some example means, so in a ABC technologies, so there are like lot of modules will be there. Okay, so if you take a, a module means like an organization unit, we will be saying those things. Okay, so what is organization unit? Okay, so if you take organization unit means um, if you take IT infrastructure, there will be a lot of clients will be there, right? So if you, uh, I mean, there will be like a financial services who will take care of the auditing and uh, everything, right? The, those clients like, uh, I mean, there are like, uh, you know, right? Uh, big four companies like a Deloitte, USA or uh, um, like a KPMG or a, a P PwC. Okay, so these are all like a big four companies for a financial services. Okay, so that is a client for a IT infrastructure. So if you take a banking services, means a lot of banking services are there, right? Lloyds Bank from uh, UK or uh, World Bank from the USA, right? So these are all the banking clients. Okay, so if you take a healthcare services, means like a pharmaceutical company or any other hospitals. Okay, so these are, if you take single IT infrastructure, so these are all will comes under the organization unit. Okay, so, from the organization unit, okay, so there will be some other, I mean, each organization unit will have a different kind of a blocks actually, okay. So let's say, I mean, uh, each blocks will be different, will will serve different kind of a purposes actually, okay. So let's say if you take a, some kind of a banking services means, so if you take a banking services, what are the applications will be, what are the services they will provide, like a internet banking, um, and then mobile banking, and then uh, like they will provide like a loan kind of a banking services. And then they will also do, I mean, we can able to create a fixed deposit or a, like a, a recurring deposit or we can also like uh, we can, I mean, there will be some kind of a, uh, like vault will be there. So those kind of a services they are providing, right? So here, um, those kind of applications they are having, right? Okay. So that applications will be developed by some kind of a team. Okay. So that module is known as application development and maintenance. Okay. So application development and maintenance. So that uh, that team, that block will take care of the application development or any other development in that particular client actually. Okay. So if you take a comes into the another, another one actually. So uh, <clears throat> so if it, if it is application development and maintenance is there means there will be testing will be there, right? So testing and maintenance. So what they will do, they will do whatever the testing are necessary to win before going into the production of that particular application i mean that is a release of that application okay so if you take a, a testing also if the application is released for a production so okay then if the user is facing some issues while logging into the net banking or any other banking services right so we are having a 24 cross 7 support team right so if you are facing some issues means you will be calling to that uh, free toll number and then you are uh, like you are uh, like explaining that issue and uh, getting the resolution right so that is known as the support maintenance actually okay so these are all will comes under the application development and maintenance testing maintenance as well as the support maintenance then next it, it next one is comes into the picture of like manufacturing goods and energy resources okay so this is our for we need for a resources like a hr human resources or any other the resources which is required for getting the application to be ready okay so that is will take care of by the different kind of a team actually okay next one the heart of everything actually okay so there will be main role will be taken care by the cyber security okay so nowadays if you take any application means like um, nowadays lot of i mean cyber attacks are coming in right i mean like previously like if you want to uh, like i mean uh, if you want to rob someone means uh, like uh, you will go and rob their bank i mean rob their money from their uh, home or anything right like uh, i mean from their wallet but nowadays what they are doing like they are like every everywhere we are like uh, evolving right we are all like i mean science is getting nowadays like uh, uh, i mean moving on too fast right so similarly 
even like nowadays all the technologies are moving forward okay so even that uh, the risks are i mean are there in each technology is also keeping on going higher and higher right so for that okay so we need to have a, some kind of a security around all the applications we are having okay so if you take a banking services means um we, you need to secure yes uh, rakesh uh, i think one is trying to join the class and he's getting on you uh, no no i didn't get you uh, uh rajiv uh, could you please come again no i'm telling to rakesh because i even i think you can see monish is just waiting join okay just just give me a minute let me check it okay i couldn't be able to check it i think only rakesh can able to do it it seems i think rakesh is on mute it seems Uh, sorry, uh, Kartika. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I think someone is uh, like available in the uh, call or something. You need to admit him. Okay. I'm not getting any notification. Uh, is it uh, Manish? Is this Manish? Uh, Manish is waiting. Uh, waiting to get him. I don't see any notification. Uh, I have provided access, uh, Rajiv. Direct access. They can join. Okay. Yeah, I have mentioned as everyone. So wh whoever has this link, they can join. Uh, can you inform Manish to try again? If not, uh... Uh, Rakesh or Rajiv, shall we continue? Sure, sure. Uh, uh, yeah, you can continue. Yeah. You can continue. Yes. yes, thank you. Thank you so much. So again, uh, could you please confirm whether you can able to uh, see my screen? <clears throat> okay. Yeah. Hope uh, everyone can able to see my screen. So where we are? Okay. So we are discussing about the. I mean, like uh, like a blocks departments are available in the IT infrastructure, right? So. i mean nowadays like i mean everywhere if you go means like cyber attacks are uh, like a trend right so even if you take it infrastructure also we need to secure them because we are handling a lot of confidential information right each client having a sub, i mean if you having a like separate confidential information so if you take a banking services means we need to like uh, uh, we need to handle those kind of uh, i mean uh, consumers uh, account number and uh, uh, like account information right so similarly if you take a, a like a healthcare uh, uh healthcare organization or something like a pharmaceutical organization or if you take a like for hospital means we need to maintain the patient's records so we need to uh, th that patient's records is a confidential right so we need to like safeguard them so, so in order to do that there is a module known as the cyber security okay so there is a module known as the cyber security okay so if you take a cyber security there are like some sub topics are there in cyber security okay so first of all application security okay before going into the application security there is one more thing known as a data security okay then application security next one is that infrastructure security okay next one is that security intelligence or monitoring okay next one is that network security okay so these are the five kind of a layers i mean five kind of a types or even sub topics available in the cyber security because cyber security is the core for the whole it infrastructure itself okay so we need to manage every information uh, available in that particular client services we need to uh, we need to safeguard everything not only for the uh, confidential confidential information and everything related to the client services okay so if you take a data security means okay so data security is nothing but whatever the confidential information are available in that particular uh, uh, i mean client so if you take a banking services means so that banking services will have all the account information of a consumers account information or like account number and everything like uh, i mean wall 
every everything related to the uh, consumers right so that kind of a data okay so each i mean each account number is a data right so we need to secure that data actually okay so how can we secure that okay so by using the digital certificates okay so digital certificates are a current trend we need to like store safeguard that particular data so if you want to safeguard your data your information itself you will be creating one kind of a digital certificates on your own and to safeguard your personal information okay so that is the data security because we are going to like safeguarding each and every person's information about the banking if you take a banking means that is a each consumers uh, like a, a account number as well as the account uh, uh, information so if you take a pharmaceuticals or hospital means the patient's records so similarly if you take any other financial services and everything financial services means their kind of i mean their client everything the client data is everything is kind of a, a confidential right because they will have a market up or market down that kind of a detail and every year's financial records will be there so everything is confidential on that one okay so if you want to like uh, if you want to safeguard those kind of a, uh, information means we will be having a data security okay next one we will come back to the application security in the last one so what is infrastructure security okay so infrastructure security means securing the whole infrastructure itself okay so if you take a single it means there will be one kind of infrastructure like um, okay so have you noticed like when you try to i mean you, we are all working in a it right so if you have you noticed like if you want to i mean if you connected to your office lan network or office i mean when you log in into the office itself okay so you will be comes under the network of the of your office actually okay so that means you will be uh, in a private network not as a public network okay so that kind of infrastructure right will be we are, you need to secure that kind of infrastructure so how can we secure that by giving the firewall rules or proxy kind of thing proxy is the current trend right reverse proxy or proxy kind of thing okay so proxy is nothing but when you are having any kind of application inside that particular infrastructure means so that application will have a separate ip address actually okay so that ip address okay won't be visible to the users or anyone okay so that ip address will be i mean instead of that original ip address they will be assigning some kind of a proxy ip address for that application so when you try to hit any application okay it won't hit you to the original ip address so it will hit you to the proxy ip address okay why because we need to secure that one also because we don't know right so if you are trying to access any application outside the organization network like a public network means obviously we need to uh, hit to the proxy ip only of that particular application if you hit to the original ip means it will be a like a security breach because uh, anyone i mean we don't know right the source uh, is coming from the public network so it's uh, it's exposed one okay so everything is accessible over the public network is is a exposed one okay so we should not expose kind of thing if you want if, you, if it's a client recommend to expose that one means if we need to expose thing but we can able to expose using the proxy ip address okay so that kind of a firewall or proxy can be deal with the infrastructure security next one is that security intelligence or monitoring okay obviously you might heard of this monitoring actually so whenever you are accessing you are admin of a particular application okay you are admin of a particular application let's say you are a super user or you are administrator of a particular application right you can able to do whatever you want inside that particular application like you can able to delete the information of a particular uh, user or you can able to add some kind of you can edit those information or anything you can do it okay so if someone is misusing that kind of a privileges okay so we need to monitor all the users okay not only for the administrators all the users whatever the user is doing inside the application we need to monitor audit it report to get a re, uh, prepare a report on that so that they can able to audit everything like okay so there is no kind of a uh, like an anomalies is there or not okay for each and application like each and user activities inside the application so that kind of a monitoring can be deal with the security intelligence tools actually okay next network security okay obviously like we are all having a network right so it it may uh, like i mean we can able to accessible from the public network or as well as the private network okay so for that one there will be like a load balancer will be there so in order to like in order to in order to distribute the load equally okay so for that load balancer also okay so if the request is coming from the public network we need to secure that load balancer also okay because